Hello, my warriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech, where we are rebuilding one of our mechs today, slightly, and uh, then we are diving into the next mission. The thing that I want to rebuild is the Helapolis. I don't think it's good anymore. I don't think uh, we can run this guy reliably with a mortar. It doesn't add a lot to the build. And we have a bit of cooling problems. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to ditch the weapon, get a bit of extra cooling, and then we're going to dive into the next mission. We have some things to do today. Huh, I just realized. Uh, we don't have an exchanger here. Uh, we don't have an exchanger in our storage as well. Okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I would totally take an exchanger to the build and, you know, make it a bit better. But but right now, this mortar is garbage. So let's take it out. Let's uh, put something else in the mech. It kind of also needs a bit more speed, to be honest, in order to, yeah, get into position reliably. But I think this is what we got right now. I also have a lot of extra tonnage. Wait a second. What is our biggest engine? The 400. Yeah, that's a bit too much. At the same time, we are running double XL. <gasps> At the same time, we are running double XL, which lowers the weight tremendously. Is this it? I'll be getting a 400 rated engine in here, giving 5 and 8 instead of, what was it beforehand? Uh, 3, 6, uh, 3, 5, 4, 6. Yeah, you know what? I want to try this. Let's get a 400 rated fusion core into the mech. The big question is, do we need more cooling? I think we do. Kind of. We could also probably get away with a radical double heat sink kit. We only have a compact. Compact is fine. Wait a second. How much do you cool? Is it fine? 54 to 47. Instead of... What did we have before? Oh, it drops the emergency coolant system as well. Oh, alright. We could now take two compact heat sinks to put in the mech. Which we do not. We do not have them. And we need an exchanger on this guy. We could also ditch the, the boat on AMS and we can take a heat bank, which is uh, kind of helpful. Gives us negative 7 heat per turn. What about that? 61 to 47. Bring back those real quick. What is going on here? Wait, where's my engine? <laughs> so, what is that now? 73 to 47. I think this is it. This is where we want to be. We're going to drop a little bit of leg armor. Just the tiniest bits here. And I have a 400 rated engine in the mech. Bam. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. Didn't really make the mech colder. Not much, but we gave it more reliability now. We had a weapon that we rarely used, and uh, now it can use its main weapon more often. So, work order is complete. We still have money. Great. We're gonna take a look at the store before we do anything else, because every new month there is new stuff in the store. And then we're gonna go in. LP-10X, Advanced Optics, Mark 1. I don't think we need them. Engine heat sinks plus 10, because why not? <laughs> Alright, so none of these things really matter to me. I think I will just dive into the next mission. And we're gonna have a good time there. I'm kind of also hoping that we get some more dual options. There's a... Uh, attack and defend. Can we play that? Not entirely sure. We can play this here. Battle in the Badlands. Let's go. I want to get the value. We only get two picks. But the... It's not like... It's not like wide salvage. Like a lot of things that we can get. But we can get like... Valuable salvage. It's more vertical than horizontal. Uh, in terms of the value here. So let's see if we can find the last combo pieces for the max that we want to build. And we will probably also run into a support lance here. Since we are one and a half scale over the enemy's uh, rating. So I believe there will be supports. We could also opt to not drop the Nidhogs, for example. I think honestly the Nidhogs are kind of falling behind in power. Dropping the bombs is fun, but we are fighting bigger and better enemies. And as a result, they have more armor and we cannot one-shot them anymore. And that means that after we have dropped the bombs, we are down to a snub -nose PPC and we are down to a Rock 5. That is not a lot. They attract some fire and they bring AMS Mark II. Yeah, that's some value. They are also kind of volatile. They are rather like the armor compared to what I have on the battlefield in form of a Conquistador, for example. That thing is great. Um, so they can be shot out of the sky quite easily, I believe. I'm not sure for how long I'm gonna run them. But hey, right now, they're doing the job. 
I think later on, for the late game, I don't know if I even want to run vehicles anymore. Maybe heavy carriers. Something that I can just uh, sit in the back line and shoot indirectly. That would be nice, I believe. You know, some, some, some raw DPR, some damage per round value. That's always shooting. Alright. Lands here. Reinforcements here. Where are the boundaries of the map? We seemingly cannot get on the high ground. I believe there will be reinforcements and Darius will us inform about that very quickly. And also not drop here. Ooh, what is going on? I think I want to be like very far away from this whole scenario. There is no good hard cover. I cannot drop here. It's so weird. So the only option would be to hunt this little rock. Oh, that's not gonna work, right? We'll see. Hello. I guess we have to accept some damage early on. Oh boy. So, what do we see? We have some flyers there on the sidelines. I'm gonna take a look at them as soon as I have an active turn. Let the enemies do their thing right now. Ifrit Malak. Malak has daisy cutters, right? I think I need to take this guy down before it can shoot. Suck. Uh, rockets? I don't know. Thunder Griffin. Not too big of a threat. That RX longbow is, though. Oh, boy. They are going to put my AMS Mark II to a big stress test with this longbow. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Comes to the other Ifrit. There's a badger. I'm afraid of this guy. Okay, prime spot for an ambush. I know. Griffin. Frankie? What What was the name? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, we are in a bit of a troublesome situation. Uh, I think I want to move around. I don't know if the mineral field is doing anything for my flyer. It seems like nope. And we're gonna try to hit what we can hit. 19% on the Thunder Griffin, no hit. This is a scary fight because the enemy bring firepower. It's not about their defenses, it's all about their offense. They have so many glass cannons. Super shotgun. In range. Yeah, I think I would be fine shooting uh, this here. Okay. Got multi missiles. Yeah, bring the AMS to the front. 10% uh, chance to shut him down. I mean, 10% chance to hit him, and then there's a 20% chance to shut him down afterwards. I go for the Griffin. You also have an AMS, I see. Uh huh. You are a fan of the fence. Micros, that might Let's be our way to get them. All right, so we will shoot Infernos, Fire and Forget. Warlord, let's go. This longbow is not allowed to shoot at all, so let's try to make them up. You got two of them. Oh my god. We have a lot of heat. What do you have in response? No. <laughs> This is not a lot. Double MML 20. And a hell lot of accuracy as well. Speaking of, this guy is made for destruction. What is our hit chance on this guy? 29%. Eh, let's kill the griffin. Could have also dropped some mines around them, but uh, that doesn't feel right. So, AMS Mark II needs to stay close to the team. Wanna sprint though. Here we go. Rock on the griff? Nah. No, I'm gonna save that recoil. Nothing to be done here. Let's see what he's doing. All of our mechs are. So, most of our mechs are in motion. Most of them have evasion. It worked! It worked! He only dealt 10 damage. 
<laughs> Pretty good. And now we can go in and take him down, huh? Can we? Let's see. I'm gonna get the Burkut to the front. He's still getting hot. One of the MMLs is jammed. I tried to drop this guy. But we wouldn't, right? We wouldn't. It's difficult. I think I'd rather shoot this guy with Infernals and fire and forget. Let's keep him hot. Yeah, that's a lot of heat. All right. Uh, he has a radical compact heat sink kit, which is active now. Oh god, he's gonna cool like crazy. Uh, yes, perfect. Get up here. Get some options. Four percent on the. F oh god, a ferret. Old cat. Some artillery type, right? So, sniper artillery. Not sure. Thirty-five. Forty-eight. We stay on target. No hit! Oh god, at 48% chance, I was actually expecting one of them to hit. But okay, Iron Jesus is not with us. Not now. Francine 2. What are you? I don't know. Really don't, but we have a new round. We don't see what this guy is doing. Yet. We don't see what this guy is doing. Yet. They are scooting backwards. Still, here comes a missile. Thunderbolt, huh? Okay. Fair. Absolutely fair. But he only shot one and the rest of the missiles are there. Yeah, this is a Thunderbolt 20 or 15 plus a good chunk of rockets. So these two are here to mess us up. Bushwalker. Okay, I don't really care about it. AMS is not enabled. Micro-missiles. Melee is an option, right? Uh, not really. 55% is not good enough. Are we trying to kill the longbow? Yeah, I think so. Actually... I want to keep him hot. Since the longbow is a viable mech to take as salvage. So let's see if we can maybe snatch some parts. Here's the polecat. Is it doing? Yeah. Adi strike. Oh my god. Direct hit with heat. Yeah, it's getting pretty fucking warm That's in here. huge. Oh no. We now generate heat for two turns or so. Plus the desert biome. That's not good for the Helapolis. He's, he's just out for a turn or two. He cannot do anything. I mean, we got a radical emergency cooling system thing, right? That's helpful. Cooling system plus two, yeah. Ooh. Other than that, I'm not happy. Don't, 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 don't. <gasps> I was expecting a ammo explosion. Okay. Tandem rockets. Daisy cutter bomb. There it is. Two of them. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, boy. He's not allowed to drop those things. We cannot let him. We need to take him down now. Everything on the Ifrit. Let every, everything else stand still. Vigilance it is. We need to move. We need to move so much. I want to get two evasion, but I don't want to sit in the fire. I guess I only take one, huh? We are too close to one another. The artillery is gonna hurt us hard. Alright, let's see if we can sensor lock this guy. Shave of some evasion. Please. Yes, good. That's that's nasty. That's good. And we're gonna all go all in on this guy. Prime target acquired. Hmm. Hmm. Underwhelming. Very much so. So, oh, he is my Nidhogg. We have no hit chance, but we have Farm Boy. Who has a sensor lock ability as well. We're gonna shave as much as possible from him now. Let's go. Negative one again. He's down to seven. I cannot hit him. Cannot hit him. Probably drop my Inferno bombs. Still not sure about the rotary. Maybe I should just engage. Uh, the Infernos were not great, but he's on steady. Moving now. Probably not shooting anything. Yeah, that's alright. 
He has an unjammed AMS again. Too many priorities. I just have too many priorities. Inka is turn 13. She can also go for a sensor lock on this guy, but not really. Oh wait, she has rockets! Yes! We're gonna go with the rocket barrage against the enemy Ifrit. That is how we win. Absolutely. It's fine. Let the Griffin do a thing. We have AMS galore. Fierce EMP cannon is already crit. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna reserve this until Tinker has uh, locked the Ifrit so we can get even more value out of this. E Frankie. Francine, actually. Francine. So, are we? We are here. Good. Let's go. Can we make this happen? We have no hit chance whatsoever. Holy crap, Aroni. Negative one again. 10% chance. What's wrong here? Enemy effects moved self. Target moved. Max range. Big problem. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, too far away. Do I still shoot? It feels like a waste, but I think I have to. In order to live. Those daisy cutters are no joke. They instantly drop a mech. They are, they are called daisy cutters for a reason. So yeah. Seems like a waste of rockets. But if I don't do it... I will... I would probably lose the run here. I would lose a mech. Let me get closer. Yeah, that's good. Putting more mechs into a single cluster. I know. Uh, and we have... The Warlord ability. Come on, just hit him on the side and just be done with it. That's good. But not enough yet. 12 hit points. I'm on the clock. What do you want? So, Saucer Boy, get out of here. Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. We can actually do it. Our emergency cooling kit is fine. What about we go for a target lock shot and a regular... I and forget shot. That should settle it, right? Come on. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I saw two red numbers flaring up. Two times five, it's ten. Yeah, twelve. And then there was the last one coming. I'm I'm happier now. I'm under very little stress at this point. Let's say less stress. Um Mineral field, yes or no. I wanna split up. Oh, let's move around a bit. Might be an all-out attack. Shotgun to the bottom. Yes, I now I should do it in the mech lab and set the standard order. We can shoot everything. I don't think that the streak will fire. And if it fires, we get a big benefit. Yeah, didn't fire. Therefore, we saved heat. Decker! Let's go, Mr. Deck. I move to this area. We are clustered again. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Decker doesn't have an active ability yet, and we are not in Inferno SRM range, so let's hope for the best. What the hell? What happened? Yeah, it's getting pretty fucking warm in here. Oh no, you hit the Helapolis with the TS EMP. You are the worst, man. <laughs> the absolute worst. You're such an anti friend. Oh no. Yeah, I know that was a risk, but uh, okay, let's go. Blow the man down, but we cannot. Not like this. AMS seems to be empty, that's great. And I think I want to stay on the longbow, it's the most important and dangerous target that we have right now. Next to the polecat, he can mess our efficiency up big time. And if we cannot shoot, we cannot defend ourselves. We cannot take enemies off the board and... We are basically sitting ducks waiting for our enemies that they shoot us down. Therefore, the polecat is also a big thing. And then there's... This guy. Ah, bombs. Oh, hello, police. I just dropped my coffee and I'm... F Don't do that to me, buddy. No hit chance, really. We stay on target, we get close to our main guy. 
No lasers. Let's save the heat now. Um, actually, we could go for a controlled burst. That's negative 10% heat build up this round. And I think this is good. No missiles still. Nothing. Uh, lucky for us, we have the bomber. The bomber is turn 14. The longbow is turn 13. Might be able to get him with that. The Inferno Cluster Bomb. Mm. So I feel like my Barracoot is getting some damage as well. What's the Badger doing, by the way? What's he running? Nothing. Three, three medium lasers and an SRM2. I don't care. Turn 17. 15 is going to be a huge one. I don't know what the Polecat is going to do. Here's the Waka. They also have a Holander in the back with a Rakten Pirate. Oh boy. This is the other Griffin, Francine. Yeah, man, we need to get the Conquistador to the front line with self repairing armor, attracting the fire. What do you want? I mean, we can move for one, stabilize right. ourselves. Let's, get down to it. Let's also get vigilance. I could lock attack is at 23%. I think I'm okay with that. But we need to take this guy down as well. Is it Inferno? No, it's damage. Sometimes ah, nothing. Is Should have actually Your gone all in. And if one of them had a chance to fire. But if both would have fired, then we would have massive overheat and it could have risked a shutdown. But I think it's fine. Let's take that turn off. Let's play it safe. One evasion into guarded state. It's not a lot. It's all we got though. 74 armor plates on the center torso. And yeah, the left arm is not really necessary anymore. Here's the Griff. What's happening? Eric. Oh god, he's accurate. And he's also destabilizing our stealthy loader king. There's follow-up damage still. Especially from the polecat. He might go for one of those. And that's not gonna end well. So what's happening? Are you engaging or are you running away? It's always the option with the fast movers that they decide to do a hit and run. And they hit earlier. Now the run part might come through. I don't know. He's thinking about it. And he's still shooting. Because he can shoot indirectly. No problem. No, he's not! Oh, we got lucky. We got so lucky. Back shot. Does it even do anything? He has more armor on the back than on the side. So we're going to try to go for his left side. Let's go ahead and sprint. If we move, we have better hit chance. This might be fine. This might be good enough. Okay. Uh, yes, we could go for, with Infernos again. I don't think I'm going to kill him this round again. Keeping him hot. Is that the right call? Making it so that he is not shooting his MMLs and the pulse lasers. AMS is down right now, so we will generate a good chunk of heat. Could also hope for... Uh, an ammo explosion, but he doesn't have ammo on his left side anymore. His ammo bin is empty. Anything on the arm? That arm is filled with ammunition. Let's try. Let's go for it. Mm, not enough. We destroyed the caseless ammo bin, but there was nothing in there anymore. Well, well, well. What is our follow-up? Bombs? I think it has to be the bombs. Got a minimum distance problem, but we can just go here. Yeah. And let's go. We have to drop him. Now. Cluster bombs, inferno bombs. Bam. At the very least, we got some heat on him. But he still stands. And that's the problem. I'm wasting too much time. I mean, wasting. I'm taking too much time getting that longbow down. It's just too much. Some high explosive bombs. Hmm. Any other good ground targets? I think the polecat might be later. How do we find this guy? How do we catch this guy? With the Burkwood, maybe. So... 
how many bombs do I drop now? Is all of them? Is it just two? Uh, I mean, is it two or is it one? That's the question I have. I think it might be okay if I just drop one. Bin. Yeah, so we have six more. So we had a total of eight, I dropped two. Let's talk in real numbers. I could have dropped four. Half of the bobs. Good. So, longbow is down. What now? 14%. This guy needs to get downed. Uh, yeah, I think it's the griffin. One target at a time. One evasion plus mineral field might be good enough for our defense purpose. And, um... Oh, ERPPC. Or I'm going all in. Um, I think both our emergency coolant system and the radical heat sink kit will activate. And as a result, we will cool big time next round. So let's make an alpha strike happen. We needed one hit to destabilize. No, never mind. He has a lot of threshold. Never mind. Uh, both are active. Perfect. Perfect. Good fire and flames. Gonna shoot him with swarmies and no TS EMP. No radicals on our side here. Yeah, this is it. Try to deal some damage and some stability damage as well. Alright. So, next round. There's the hole in there. That's still a scary target, but he is not in direct line of sight to us yet. That's our benefit. Guy's pretty far. Pretty far away. But we have a 35% chance to hit him. Many three with. Mm. Ah. All right, let's move around a bit. All right, let's get down to it. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm gonna go with a good old target lock attack. Only one missile launcher fired, but we cool down as a result. That's no bad thing. BPC missed. Good. Tigard, Tigard. How do you say that? I don't know. It doesn't matter, cause we're gonna take this guy down now. No lasers. Everything else, a go. Come on. That's insane. The Griffin is still standing. He's panicked. And panic means that he's easier to hit for us now, and he has a penalty to hit us in return. That is good. The morale system is actually helpful here. 17. It's a bomber, right? Yep. I'm a bit scared, but he doesn't have daisy cutters at the very least. But there's that. These are scattery, splashy things. They will deal damage. Inevitable damage. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> Oh, and mines. Yeah, it's getting pretty fucking warm in here. Wait, 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 wait. Those are Inferno mines. Yes, okay, so Inferno mines and Bomb Inferno. Our oh, label is. He's the hot boy today. Holy crap. Stay in motion, huh? Stay in motion. Do we have um, sensor lock? Sensor lock is ready next round. I think we want to try to take this Ifrit then. Or... Actually, in the meantime, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna kill this griffin, but also deal some damage to this guy. So, the Ifrit is gonna eat 40 missiles. The rest is hopefully enough to kill the griffin. And it was. So, no shot wasted. Cool. We are draining the AMS of ammunition and still deal some damage. It's not a lot, but it's a start. Bushwalker. Indirect fire. LRM5. I don't care about it. Actually, I do care about it because our laser AMS is firing, generating more heat. <laughs> Fine. Hmm. These don't blow up. That's the only thing I'm asking. It could be internal ammo explosion because of heat. Turn 15. Ah, yes, and we still have the pole cat here. I think evasion is an actual problem for us right now. In the state of the game, we have a lot of firepower, but we don't have the accuracy to take enemies down quickly. Then they come in and drop the load. That's not good. 
can see we are struggling. Running away even further. I will take that. Bear. 14. The badger. Mushroom, mushroom. Let's go. Also a fast mover. Takes a long time to think about its turn. <laughs> okay, Wolf Dragoon. And he's moving away. So. Twelve percent. Twelve percent. Okay, so what if we get out of the mineral field? We should have a better hit chance then. Slightly. Still twelve. Okay, so this is our threshold of fire. And I think I want to cool down completely so that our emergency coolant systems are fine. And we take that snapshot at 12% with the snub. So we are completely cold next round. Uh, we will lower our fail chance on that. And I think this is the way to go about this here. On the other hand... Um, we still have this Ifrit here. I don't like it. Let's try to go for a target lock. Do we deal raw damage, or do we try to deal internal damage? It's not going to be enough to significantly destroy structure without penetrating armor. <sighs> Let's go with the most damage that we can deal, possibly. That's it. Okay. Snobs and bombs. Bombs and snobs. Take the badger. What about this Francine thing? What about... Hmm guy. Okay. The Holander has already taken its turn, and I think it's the most dangerous target next to the Ifrit and the Polecat. So, he's gonna take the bombs. I wonder if I should... Ah, I cannot sense a lock. Never mind. Okay, got some damage in. But you know what? There is more where that came from. Oh, double attack with the Nidhogg attack squad. Couldn't make him unsteady, sadly. But anyway. Arm down. Arm down is not really what I wanted. I needed a mech down. Everything is on the right side. The big gun is on the right side also. That's the thing. So, couldn't take it down completely. But hey, we have uh, racked up a lot of evasion. Should be somewhat safe. Ow. I just dropped my coffee and I'm Ow. fucked. Okay, deck. Probably want to stay out of these uh, inferno mines so that we don't trigger them and we generate more heat on the label list. What can we shoot though? 30 swarm missiles is what we got. Um, sure, we attack the guy in the back. Unsettled. Well, we got that. There's a freaking atlas hiding! I wasn't aware of it! Ah! No! Okay! Disengage! Disengage! This is too risky! Abort! <laughs> oh no, and he's got initiative. Oh, he's running. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, Bushwaka might attack us. No big deal. The atlas is 15. We are also 15. So it is a tie. Let's see if, who's the last one to act in 16. Uh, it's because it always tries to alternate between factions. And if the enemy attacks in uh, 16 and we, there's, you know, 15 coming up and there's a tiebreaker, then we would have the initiative there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I have the feeling we have to eat another barrage of Inferno Bombs. There's no way around it, really, right? Yeah, with that initiative, he's gonna go for my Helapolis. Oh, boy. Not good. She is running. Okay. I don't know what they were trying to fire. I'm okay with that. Would be really nice if the Ifrit decides to go for my Conquistador, by the way. Because it will uh, take away the focus from the Helapolis. Dota King is also okay, although he already got some damage. But it's on the left side, so right now he's showing the right side. It's, it's okay. As long as it's distributed evenly, I am alright with it. The Avatar, not a good target. 
It is a good target for the Ifrit. I'm, I'm hoping that he's not taking it. He's disengaging. Okay. Yeah, that's the right side torso. Uh, and it's open. Here. I think oh. I heard something broke. That was a freaking thunderbolt. Oh, a boy. Oh boy. Are we sticking to the plan to take the Ifrit down now? I mean, I need to disengage from this Atlas, that's for sure. Following up on the damage of the... Uh, what's it called? Hollander, not a good idea. So yeah. Let's go. Let's go and do it. I have to. I'm still too afraid of these Inferno Bombs. So let's take Evasion away. We're gonna shoot him with the Snub, probably not hitting. That's all right. Okay. Next. Turn 16. Oh, we go. We are going to be the turn 16 dudes. I uh, hate it. How do we save the Helapolis? I'm on the clock. What do you want? There's actually one thing we can do. Turn around. Back armor is back armor. I mean, it's armor nonetheless, right? All right, let's get down to oh. it. No! Yeah, it's getting pretty fucking warm in here. No! Yeah, it's getting pretty fucking warm in here. Yeah, you said that already. Thank Computer's you. Computer's taking a nap because it's too hot to think. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we have to run through this. No questions asked because we need to take this guy down. He is a threat, so... Let's drop the last swarmies and the TS EMP and hope for the best. It's a hit. I like this. Getting more heat. No direct shutdown though. But it should take him off for a turn. Now the Atlas. Miss, miss. Okay. So Gauss double PPC seemingly. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean we have a we have a rack and recoil. That's actually would be the best target to shoot right now. But I cannot. I have I have a purpose. The purpose is taking down the Ifrit. It really sucks, but I gotta do it. We need to sensor lock. We need to combine our sensor lock on that guy. And I know that we don't really have any chance to hit him, so I'm not gonna do anything. Uh, getting the AMS unjammed and getting the rack out of recoil. So. Now we're going for this guy. No hit. But then there is... Ah, I should have taken heals beforehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ordering, ordering, Bara. Ordering. It's important. Okay. Why? Because Hilt also has sensor lock abilities. And we should apply the sensor lock before we shoot him with all we have. So, 51 becomes 64. Perfect. Please take him down. Still a good chunk of anti-missile stuff. And I think I need to do a thing here. That thing is getting vigilant. Guild should have gotten it, by the way. Gonna be fire and forget. Gonna be everything. Let's go. Ah, that's it. Yeah, so, the plan worked out. We have a very dangerous target off the board. The Thunderbolt is not hitting us anymore. That allows us to move around and try to hit somebody at a far, far away. Perfect. ERPPC as well. Uh, he has a lot of head armor and structure, so going for a headshot is probably not viable unless we hit multiple times. There's Warlord ready. Do we believe in our abilities today? Even if we don't kill him. He's pushed back in any. And he is sensor scrambled and he's hot, so I think we have him under control for the moment. Don't want to lose the Helapolis. Holender? Hmm? Getting into direct line of sight situations soon. Atlas is down for a turn, which is actually really good. I'm still worried about the polecat. He might decide to come back and shoot us. 
indirectly. But he disengages. He's doing this weird, I'm a tank and I'm going to the edge of the map thing. But again, honestly, I'm fine with that. I'm okay. I want to keep this guy safe. At all costs. Waka. Out of ammo. Obvious choice. The shutdown mech. Would have done the same, probably. But again, we have the back armor for a reason. That's still a lot of armor plates that are holding the mech together. The double XL engine makes the side torso opening quite risky, though. I don't think we can engage with this guy anymore. Our mission is to save him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what now? This now, right? Let the tanks do the tank things. It might bite me in the butt later. But... Can attack the griffin, sadly, from the side that is damaged. But I feel like we should go for the last Inferno missiles that we have. No direct shutdown, but he's not gonna do anything this round, right? That allows us to put Hilt on the flong. We wanna go on the flong. Cover seems good. Direct line of sight seems better, honestly. No, you know what? I have an idea. I know it's pretty bad these days, but I believe minefields are the way to go. Since we only have 125 Artemis shots, we need to utilize our assets and optimize them. So, have some mines. This turn is a defensive one. And I'm not expecting anything from the Griffin, other than a shutdown. So we can start dealing some damage to the backliners. On the clock. What do you want? Start, cool down, perfect. Power up, detected. power up. Welcome to your doom. Alright, so he is down. Eric. Eric might get him. We're getting lucky. Uh, at this point, I want to shoot armor piercing to his... Center? They had a supercharger! I wanted that. Bam, faceplant. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, no target in front of us. Which lets us take the time to reposition. I'm just gonna move around now. Let's get out of the minefield. Somehow. Uh, where did the polecat go? It's here. Maybe this is the moment where we shoot him with the bombs. Last bombs we have. That's alright. We dealt some splash damage. I think the Badger also took some. Hmm, minimal. Uh, and yeah, the, the, a rotary auto cannon is not doing a lot. However, we should be able to do enough here. We are not in recoil. This guy didn't move far, and we have a good chunk of shots that we can. Slap at the Holander, possibly taking him down. Ah, he guarded himself, of course. What was I thinking? Conquistador! On the left flank, these guys will come around there, I believe. Okay. Ooh! And this is tough. Holander. It's a lot of damage. Uh, 13 and 13 on the Atlas and on my Nidhogg. I might have been a bit too overzealous taking that guy down. I'm not happy with the position anymore. And it seems like they also engage with the Atlas first. Yep. Let's hope that we are not getting hit too often. We have 8 evasion. Still. Always 18. They always take 18 damage, no matter what, when they are moving over the mines. Is there a cap to it now? Fudger, fudger. Nothing. Need to help. 
somehow. Okay, so 35 missiles thunder, the rest is Artemis. It's not even Artemis. No. Not even that. I need to get direct line of sight in order to make the most out of those missiles. Uh, Loader King! Why are you not moving? You're way too hard, huh? Okay, sprint and cool, buddy. Wanna make a pincer move? Let, getting the Loader King up to the high ground, the other guys to the left side. Comes EMP Decker. They are so slow! Or. Old Cat didn't move that far this round. Getting in here? What does it give us? I could backstrike the Atlas. Pretty good hit chance. Would we kill it? Would we kill it? It's a great opportunity to take the Polecat. Or deal more damage to the Polecat since it didn't move that far. Uh, it would be a brave attempt to save Private uh, Nidhogg here. Get only five evasion. We need to get vigilance. Then there's still a lot of fire. Oh, I don't like it. Too many, too many risky things. If we don't kill him, he might turn around and hit us a bunch of times. There's also minimum range on the Gauss rifle and the PPC, so yeah, I'll do it. And I think our five evasion and the vigilance guarded state is our defense in this position. Let's go standard ammo, fire, and forget. Boom. We open him up. We got him down. Nice. Atlas off the board. That was important. No. What are we doing with the ferret, though? 19%. Let's try to kill him. Somehow. This is going to be it, huh? Hunting down the tanks in the end game. What do you want? You just run away. I have no intention to partake in any fights with you anymore. You on the high ground, helping out with the follow-up? Farm boy and his rack. We certainly want to attack this... Uh, what's his face? Holander from the right side. Uh, out of ammo, so we have to go for caseless. 27%, good enough? Question mark. Yeah. Hit him once. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. What about you, buddy? That's splash damage. Aja is coming back. Thing is, I have to destroy everyone. I cannot just get away from them. So... It's all in on the right and on the left side. I'm really hoping that I can get my Conquistador in quickly. And since we don't need to destroy the Atlas anymore... Can possibly shoot some snapshots with the Artemis ammo, right? How much ammo do we need in the end? I am not sure. Waka is moving. Getting more and more damage to the legs. I mean, it is damage over time. It's helpful. Okay. Attack the right side, as always. We have Vigilance for high innie, but this might be a bad idea. This is a... Uh, offense is better than defense position. Cannot go Vigilant. Crazy. Okay. Still try to hit him. All in. Okay, so the rotary is down. I'm okay with that. Even if he doesn't get killed, that rotary is off the board. I would have loved to take that, by the way. But hey. Beggars can't be choosers. And then we're gonna go full and full disengage with the Helepolis with the 400 rated engine. So much speed to carefully move to the backwards area of the battlefield. Uh, Nidhogg, the damaged one. Let's just generate some evasion and roam around. Wait for the rock to unjam. There we go. Get out of here. All right, Eric. 
Eric probably wants to help with the tanks as well. He has some accuracy. There's Hilt. We need to help out with the Waka. I really feel like our Burkut can do the thing. I could also bring Hilt in. And let her do the thing. Yeah, the Burkut is more mobile. I'm gonna disengage with it and try to hunt tanks. It makes the game a little faster as a result. Alrighty, so that's the... That's the stuff that we have. It's two Alpha Strikes. I feel like it's not going to be enough. We're gonna leave ourselves one Alpha Strike for the next attack. And we got a headshot. Be good. So the thing is, we are not alone. The thing is that we also have our friend the door right next to them. Badger, badger, but is it badger or is it badger? Uh, a 29, this is 21. It's no big difference, and I want to get the polecat down because I think it's more dangerous. Hunt him down. Let's go. Decker helping out on the flank. Very nice. I could have used Decker beforehand, put a ping out, and then used Hilt, would have been a bit better. And whenever I'm saying things like that, um, I just want to make sure that you know that I'm not uh, beating myself up. I just want to give you some information in hindsight. Just optimizing a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's what I said. The three evasion is not a lot. The offense over defense turn came with a cost. The cost was armor, though. No. Alrighty. So, Olander and Bushwalker. The funny thing is, I could just go full and disengage and let them run over the mines over and over and over again. They would kill himself. Probably. It's a slow death. But I think it would still work. All full of it. And it's difficult terrain, so they are not moving out of this quickly. Um, sure. Let's go and move. Turn 18. Time for the ferret to move. He's not shooting anymore. Is he out of ammo? That's what's happening. I wonder if I should jump away. Ah, uh, this is it. Alrighty then. I'm also gonna go vigilant now. I like this. Uh, this is definitely a target lock situation. So either we hit or we don't. Uh, and if not, we're gonna cool down like crazy, which is great. No infernos anymore? No. Okay. So... Standard ammunition. And that's what I mean. Such a beautiful weapon in a hot environment. Okay. Moving. Keep shooting. 21% and a miss. I think next turn, when I have more people to actively engage that guy, I'm gonna go for another sensor lock spam. Quite, not quite. Hmm. I'm on the clock. First of all, the important thing. Sorcerer, get out of here. Okay. And there's Hilt. I think I want to see if I can do something with Decker first. Not. And I have maneuvered myself up on a hill that I didn't want to go on. But yeah, let's go for the ping. I only got the... Mm, only got the hole in there. That's alright. That's a right side attack. That's where we want to be. Alrighty then. And we have a pretty bad hit chance. Oh, do we bolt side now? I think we will. This is too good of an opportunity. So, take away evasion. 32% chance to hit. We have enough ammo. Let's go! Beautiful! We don't have to deal with the ferret anymore. I'm so happy about that, guys. Cool, cool, cool. So, we're gonna try to get up on the hill, get the badger, and uh, take him down. And then there's the other side of the battlefield. We have to make decisions. I have one alpha strike. I'm gonna save this. Let's go... Let's go here. Brace. I think messing things up now would be really bad, so we play it safe. We just want to bring this home. Speaking of, this might be home. 
They're cold enough to go Alpha Strike, so let's do exactly that. Yo, fire and forget. Oh, we didn't check ammo. Did we have enough? We didn't. And he might turn around and kill us now. Ah, no, he's not, but... This is fine. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yeah, check ammo before you go all in. Badger in the mineral field. On the clock. What do you want? And we have reached the end of the map. We cannot go any further. Perfect. That'll do for now. Hey, this is it. This is where Hilt is coming in with everything she has left. No more ammo. It's all we got. Seems good though. Ka boom. Beautiful. So, last guy is a whole ender, but we have a decker for that. Uh, this rock is horribly, horribly in recoil. But honestly, it's very hittable. Pretty good. Yeah, and Eric is coming around as well. Um, sure. That's the badger down. One more enemy, and it is a very broken Holander. Ooh, I think we made it. It looks good, man. It was some there were some tight moments within this fight. But in the end, it didn't even matter. You're not getting anywhere anymore. I think Decker has a chance. Let's go. And Decker has the chance to go in with SRMs and the Narc Launcher, which is never firing, so we should probably take it out. Yeah. What? Panic. Yeah. The last guy on the battlefield. What can he do? Great! Oh my god, that was a pretty long mission. I was looking at the, uh, at the timer right now, and we are about an hour into the fight. Like, an hour into the video. Crazy. However, I was having fun. I hope you had fun as well. So leave a rating and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about loot for a second. We get some interesting parts here. If I'm not mistaken, there should be four Atlas parts. Let's see. Yes, so four Atlas parts. We have none that are compatible. It's probably still worth picking this guy, right? Let's see if there's anything else that we possibly want. There's Ifrits. I mean, that's a daisy cutter. What about our Valkyrie squad? What about another flyer that's roaming around, helping out, dealing massive damage? I'm saying massive damage. Doesn't have a lot after the daisy cutters, just a snub nose, but two mag shots. And then, of course, tendons. And them rockets. And there's also the longbow. It's a risk longbow. A good one. Three AMS Mark II in a stack. Oh. All right. ERPPC, Scouse rifles, Zeus LRM5s and 15s. We got medium X pulse lasers, MML 20s, tandem rockets, thumper cannon, advanced optics, times three. We can weld them together and make a Mark III out of that. Uh, Beagle Pro, Command Console, Exchanger Double Plus, Energy Accuracy Headshot, Defensive Double Plus. I like that a lot. Radical Proto Double Heatsink Kit, Pirate. Yeah, it's a good one. Ah, <laughs> oh, it is a good one. Atlas or stuff? Here's a supercharger. <laughs> when playing a mission like that where I have to make tight picks, I'm getting the goodies. This is not a mission where I have five salvage and I'm gonna take the charger anyway. <sighs> Snap! Thermal vision, weapon mount, recoil times two. Yeah, talking about rock builds. I'm gonna get them later. Two swarm clan ammo bins. Regular SRM clan, clan ammo. Ooh. I need bigger mechs, though. Bam. Gonna take that. Let's see what we got. Crap. We didn't get anything good, right? Ammo. Basic cockpit. Hey, we got the clan ammo. We needed ammo. That's good. 
That is a piece that's a fixer for our avatar build. And we have a regular heat bank. And since we have better heat banks, I'm going to drop that thing directly. And Thumper Inferno ammo. Two Thunderbolt 15 bins, by the way. Not the worst salvage, not the best salvage, but it was salvaged in the end and we came out of this alive and didn't lose anything. I think this is the more important part about it. I hope you enjoyed it. As I was saying, if you did, leave a rating, help me out as a content creator. It would be very nice of you and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.